All right, so I'm back. I just did the worst thing of all. So I signed up for the virtual staff finder. I got these people searching for candidates for me for my virtual assistant. And then they found the people. And right when they found them, I took off on a two week trip to the US and I was too busy to look at the resumes or the profiles. And so now I've had these people that they found for me who are obviously looking for jobs. And I haven't looked at the profiles yet. And I got this email from Richard at Virtual Staff Finder back on April 5th. And here it is, it's April 26th, and I'm now looking at it for the first time. So, well, let's look at this together and let's see what we've got here. So, we've got, hi Joshua, good day. He's followed up a few times, by the way. He's been very professional, very polite about it. I told him, sorry, I'm traveling, I'm super busy. I just haven't had a chance to look at this. And he's been really nice and everything, but okay. Now we're finally looking at this. So they found three candidates for me and they attached a bunch of stuff. So I've got all these resumes and requirements uh, for all these different people. But here's just the brief overview. So they gave me some names. They told me how much they're expecting in salary, what time they want to work, and some comments about each one. So, for example, Charmaine has been working in home base for more than three years now. She previously worked as a VA and project manager. In her previous employments, she mainly handled tasks that included ad management, social media management, content creation, project management, and ratings, and so on. It lists different software. Then I've got Susan, I've got Maria, who goes by Peachy. By the way, I have a friend here in Shenzhen, and she's originally from the Philippines, and her name is Peachy. So I guess that's not an uncommon name there, perhaps. So then he says, I look forward to hearing back from you. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. And please respond to us as soon as possible. These VAs are actively looking for other jobs online, so if you feel like a candidate fits the job, we highly recommend that you offer him or her the position right away. And please do not give advance payments to your VA. So there you go. So I've got a bunch of files to go through here and I'm going to check these out now and we've got some recordings even. In fact, well, I'm going to take a look at this. If I find anything interesting, I'll come back. Okay, so in that email, there were a bunch of personality tests, and I don't know, I don't put a lot of stock in personality tests. I mean, I like the color code. I'm actually going to a color code meeting tonight. So I like the color code, and there's some other ones that I think are interesting, but I'm not familiar with these tests, and I'm just not sure how much stock to put into them. And what I really want to see is the stuff directly from the people themselves. So they sent me some voice recordings. And so I just listened to one of those, and then I'm looking at the social media profiles of these people. So again, this is uh, Charmaine, but she goes by Cher. So I'm looking at her Facebook profile. I don't know. I see a bunch of personal stuff. She's just sharing random stuff. Let's take a look at her Twitter profile. I haven't looked at this yet. So Cher Tan Chico. Um, yeah, so I mean, I don't trust follower accounts. It doesn't mean anything to me, really. It's more, I'm just kind of curious what she's interested in, what she's posting about. And it kind of seems to be, I don't know, pop culture stuff. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I'm just kind of looking around. So nothing's right, nothing's wrong, per se. I mean, I guess if she were posting a ton of stuff about digital marketing and I could see that she was really into that, that would definitely be a positive. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of pop culture stuff. So let's take a look at Instagram and, you know, food. People post that on Instagram, so I hear. And maybe a little bit of travel stuff. Let's see what else she's got here. Selfies, dogs, meat. Harry Potter, yeah. can't argue with that, I love Harry Potter. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's stuff, it's, it's not uh, positive, not negative. Now let's take a look at her 
look at our LinkedIn profile. So first of all, we are second connections. We've got five mutual connections. Now I'm connected to a ton of people on LinkedIn, so again, this may or may not mean much. Uh, she's connected to, let's see. Yeah, I mean, these aren't like close contacts of mine or anything, so it's not like I can ask the, any of them for a reference really. I mean, I could, but I don't know them, so the reference would not mean a ton. So let's see, what else is she posting on LinkedIn or what's she doing here? Mm, duh, 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 duh. Let's take a look at her. She says she does a lot of things and nobody does a lot of things, but that might just be the standard thing for people to list everything that they can do. I mean, I've done that before, so. Creative director, really, what does that mean though? Okay, so again here, I'm not really seeing anything I don't like, but I'm not seeing anything that's making me say, oh, this is exactly who I want to hire either. So it's just kind of leaving me, eh, I don't know. So let's take a look at the next one real quick. We've got references too. Let's take a quick look at references. Uh, yes, she was employed here. She was our head of digital operations. She is good at this. Um, why did she want to leave? She wanted to work online, very independent. Okay, spearheaded projects, good with entire team, definitely recommending her. She is the best in the field. Okay. Um, just one reference, I guess. I'm curious, are these other references just one reference? Uh, that looks like just one reference too, but it's a longer one there for Peachy. Um, let's see, she already worked as a virtual assistant, although looks like it was just for a few months. And let's see, responsibilities, coordinating meeting times, coaching leaders. So all this tough, all this stuff is tough, right? Because they're going to get rid of the people who are just obviously bad, right? So theoretically, any of these people would be hopefully okay to hire, but you never really know until you start working with somebody if they're really the right fit. And once you start working with somebody, it's hard to get rid of that person, right? So I need to figure out some way to test these people. I mean, I obviously I need to talk to each of these people, but also I need to figure out some sort of easy, easy test so that I can at least sort of gauge what it might be like working with these people. So I'm gonna look through these a little bit more, see if I see any red flags or see if I see anything that really stands out that I like. All right, boom. Peachy. Now, I don't know if she's the right one, but there, here's some stuff that's standing out. So I see one that she was most recently a virtual assistant for somebody. That's good, right? They've already got that former experience. And it was for almost two years. So that seems like a good length of time there. Uh, right before that, she was a virtual assistant for somebody for just a few months. So I wonder kind of what happened there, you know? Um, but maybe it was just a short-term thing, and that's how the way it was. Now, what's curious is going back a little bit further, um, looked like she worked for one year at TextLink Brokers, which is a company that I used to know, and it's not that I would say that the services they provided were super high quality, but somebody who worked there would at least know about SEO and know what it is. And then I see back before that, that she worked for Blue Glass. I know Blue Glass, I know that company, I know people who worked for that company. And apparently she was a link builder, blog contractor there for about four years. So that's a good length of time and that is an online marketing firm. And so that's the kind of experience that I really do like to see. So that's really interesting to me. So I'm taking a closer look now at Peachy here 
and let's uh, let's see what else we've got here. So, so again, they also show you these English proficiency tests. Let's see, great typing speed. Eh, I don't. I mean, they're all about the same. Doesn't make that much of a difference here. Hundred English proficiency, one hundred twenty nine points out of one hundred fifty. 86%. So I don't I don't really know what that means. They show their internet upload and download speed, which is interesting. <laughs> upload speed 0 0.02 megabits. I mean, like that can't be right. Um, or it must have just I mean, I'm sure it's right, but it was probably just a bad spot for 30 seconds or something when they were doing that test. So uh, hopefully that's not the real upload speed. If it is, I'm sure it can be upgraded for 20 bucks a month or something. No big deal. Whoopsie. Okay, so let's see. CV, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Uh, email references. Uh, passport. Jordan Castiller. Okay. So this is hilarious. So one of her references is actually a former employee of mine at MWI. So who I know super well. So this is uh, really interesting. That's quite the coincidence. So I'm going to have to reach out to Jordan to ask about this. So uh, yeah, man, talk about a small world. I mean, I know Jordan from Utah and here I am. I'm in China and I'm interviewing somebody in the Philippines and uh, it's a small world. Okay, so this is the uh, personality test stuff here. And again, I see this and it just makes me want to go take a nap or something because I don't want to dig into this and learn what all this stuff means. Uh, this is the kind of stuff I would send over to my wife and she would love to dig into it and take a gander. But for me, it's just like, ugh. So um, they've got these recordings too. So here's a voice recording from Peachy. Hi, my name is Maria Pazadoriad and you can also call me Peachy. I am 37 years old. I have been working online since 2006 as a blogger. I have previously worked as a virtual assistant to a health coach and the business is based in Canada. As a virtual assistant, I was responsible in managing a social media site like Facebook and Instagram. I would also do video and audio transcription. I am very eager to work and I look forward to learn a lot of new things. I can also do email management. Okay, so sounds good enough with English and all that. Not that much different from the others. Maybe a little bit better than the, the others. Uh, let's see. So I think, did I look at her reference before? I don't think I looked at her reference before. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 main duties, uh, performed excellent, always impressed. Uh, why did she leave? Well, she hasn't. <laughs> well, I, yeah. Okay, uh, oversaw planning, cover. Okay, so if I had to choose one of these three, Peachy looks the best. But that's just going off of a little bit of information. I could talk to each of these three. I could come back with a totally different opinion. But now I've looked at all the information, uh, other than the personality test very closely, and Peachy seems to be the one that stands out the most. So now I'm going to respond to Richard, and we're going to see if we can set up some appointments. I'd probably still like to talk to all three of these, but definitely Peachy and see if she's available. And We'll take it there and we'll see.